Hey guys, and welcome back. We're getting used to park life and taking the sights of broom. We venture out onto Ganthian Point to try and find the dinosaur footprints before heading to the Malcolm Douglas Crocodile Park. And of course, when in broom, a camel ride is in order. After all that, a well-deserved trip to Matzo's for a mango beer is just the thing you need. We try our luck at a spot of fishing before an amazing broom sunset. We hope you enjoy this episode and we'll catch you out there. the Cable Beach Holiday Park. It's not our preferred option, is it, caravan parks? We prefer the free camps, but hey, I think this looks pretty cool. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have some play equipment for you guys. I'm pretty sure there's a pool. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll check it out when we get in there. Because it's RAC run caravan park. So it looks, it looks pretty busy in there. I always get a little bit funny with caravan parks being so close to everyone. I like our space out in the bush, but hey, we're in Broome at least. Oh, oh well that was a that was a very hot setup wasn't it Cam? Yeah. So Wim Broom RSC Caravan Park. We've just done a full setup of the camper with the awning. Now we're going the to the pool. Up. We're gonna go to the pool now. We're going to be going and checking out the, what was it, the dinosaur footprints at low tide, 8 o'clock. So that'll be fun, I reckon the kids will get a kick out of that. So we've just turned up at Ganthamu Point. I think that's how you pronounce it. Ganthamu, Ganthamu. <laughs> yeah, so this is apparently where the dinosaur footprints are. We're going to go and check them out. We're going to try and find some dino footprints. I'm going to try and find some dino footprints. I'm going to try and find an ancient crocodile footprint. Okay. I don't know if we'll find any, but I reckon there'll be some uh, dinosaur footprints what down here somewhere. What about Beautiful, doesn't it? Hey, yeah. look at that. of information about the dinosaur footprints that we are unable to find and down the very bottom it says these footprints are difficult to find and can only be seen at very low tide conditions can be treacherous and visitors are not encouraged to seek out the prints wow so we're still on the hunt for the elusive footprints we think we're in the right area but apparently they're extremely difficult to find so we're just scrabbling around on the rocks trying to locate them at the moment. And Cammy's just found a big... Is there a... You better be careful there's not a creature in there. There's a snail. He might bite you. Maybe he's got a stinger. No, it's a snail. He's doing some research. 
she's looking for the exact location on the Facebook group. And we're just scrabbling over the rocks, seeing if we can find anything that looks like a three-toed dinosaur footprint. So you've got to be here at extremely low tide, and we're at the peak of the low tide at the moment, so let's keep looking. I'm not sure if we found the dinosaur footprints. Um, we had a good scrabble along the rocks, sent the drone up, and got some amazing footage out there. It's absolutely beautiful, and the kids are running around looking in all the little rock pools and looking at the crabs and all that sort of stuff so we're probably just going to go for a little drive along the beach now see if we can find the beach access but um yeah it's certainly look at the color of the water out there i mean my god glorious <laughs> Sea cucumber. I think a sea cucumber. Is that a sea cucumber? Oh, yeah, it is. There's another one over there. Oh, yeah, so it is. Sea cucumber. Hey, well spotted there, Mr. Adventure. Here we are, Matzo's Brewery and Broom. Yummy, yummy, time for lunch. Look, beware, falling mangoes. Daddy, there's a sign that says beware falling mangoes. Yep, look at that. Ooh, Matzo's mango beer. Wait, what? Mango beer? It's delicious. <sighs> um, uh, What's your apple juice like, mate? Nice. It's just not as good as my beer. Oh, we're watching people feed the crocodiles, or maybe we should feed you to them. <laughs> the Malcolm Douglas crocodile feeding place. Hey, crocodile park. We're about to go into the mouth of a giant crocodile. Big, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, bud. Sorry, I'll get out. That's all good. Daddy, look, that's I take all the attack. Good looking guy. Daddy, do you want a pack? Yeah. Daddy, look, there's a few bigger ones than that. Did you hold one? <laughs> Did you hold one, Cam? Yeah. Yeah? Oh. There you go. Oh, he's <laughs> you hold that? 
Can I have a hold? That one's a big Too easy, mate. So just squeeze that tail nice and tight, nice and gentle that belly. <laughs> oh, wow. See? The other ones are quite big. Yeah. That's cool, isn't it? Very placid. He's so calm because he's used to being handled, or are they being no, so we, we did really. So we switched these guys out once a fortnight, and that's every Monday. We switched them out. Yeah, okay. So if these guys are calm because they are quite cool, cool at the moment. Yeah. So once they start coming around about 3, 4 o'clock ish, and they start getting a bit warmer. Yeah. So if you think about it, we handle these guys for about two, 100 to 200 people a day. Yeah, okay. So they start soaking up all that body temperature, and they go, these guys get crispy. They're like yeah. shaking that little head, going everywhere. <laughs> That's why I got their mouth it. tied up. We hate it. <laughs> Good job, guys. <laughs> <laughs> He's waving. Check it out. We'll talk about big crocs a little bit later on, but first I just wanted to point out what's happening here. The food is just going to waste, that's what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, most of these crocodiles on the bank over here, and most of them are in the water over there, hey? And so the reason why is because there's another bully in here right now at this very moment. At this very moment. And that bully's on that side, which is why none of them are on that side. Let's see if we can find them today without losing them. Anyway, he's over there. When he finds that piece, hopefully, he's going to take his head out to swallow it so he doesn't drown. And he'll also stick his tail out the other end when he does that. And so when he does, you see just how big he is. Here we are. Fishing. Fishing. Dad. Beautiful Cable Beach. First thing in the morning, 6.30. We need a, um, Got the car here eventually. Had to just, get jump started. I left a whole bunch of stuff plugged in. <laughs> Silly idiot. Just remember, um, you need to fish at low tide. Otherwise, you can't access the beach because it'll be covered with water. Yep, that's right. We had to bump across a few rocks. And uh, apparently, everything above 7 metre tide, you can't exit the beach. So we're all good. We had a look at the, the tide charts. So now we're gonna go for a couple of hours fishing and then we go back, we got the tour to the Horizontal Falls today. But I don't know, we should be staying here all day. This is amazing, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. And now we're gonna go fishing at Cable Beach. Who knows what we'll catch, probably nothing. Oh, buddy, keep reeling, keep reeling. Hee hee hee. Oh, bring him over here. <laughs> Look at the camera. Here's a thumbs up. Yeah, my man. Woo. Breakfast of champions, let's go. Yeah. Careful of the bones, mate, because I didn't do a very good job of filleting it, but just. Mm. Yeah. Don't get any fresher than that, do you, mate? Be no, pretty hot, no, just come so off the pan. For your birthday. Time for daddy to have a taste. Mm. Can I have a taste? Oh, that is good. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Okay. You want some as well, Jacqueline? I'm going to have a little taste. Okay, hang on. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> mm. Yeah, thank you. That's pretty yeah. good. Beautiful sunset at Cable Beach. It's a nice sunset, isn't it, Cam? Yeah. 
beautiful way to end the day. Look at that. Cable Beach at sunset attracts <laughs> hundreds of four-wheel drives. And really, you could probably get a two-wheel drive out here, to be honest. But yeah, there's just cars for as long as the eye can see over there. So once again, down at beautiful Cable Beach, a little bit of a setup. Got uh, cameras just come back. The kids have just been sandboarding with Miranda while I'm getting. While I'm getting everything set up, so I've got the uh, the awning out and the camp chairs and that, and I'm also rigging up the um, uh, rigging up the fishing rods because me and Cam and maybe Jack are going to go for a little bit of a fish in a sec. How's sandboarding, bud? I really need to learn how to stand up on a sandboard and well, do it. You kept stacking it, did you? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty hard. I don't know if you can see in the distance there at the background, Miranda and Jacqueline are still out there sandboarding. There's somewhere. Out there. <laughs> so I'm going to run up there and have a little go at sandboarding, see if I can remember how to stand up without hurting myself too much. I want to um, try and catch some salmon. Try and catch some salmon, alright, well, let me finish setting up the rods, I'm going to go for a little bit of a sandboard, and then we'll come through, hey look, there goes Jacqueline down the hill. You probably can't see, probably can't see that on video, but anyway, let's finish setting up. Alright, me and the kids are going to go and try and do some sandboarding. Yeah. Relive my heyday. It's nothing special. There's a dune just up here. In the background, I'll flip the camera around. Have a look at it. Is that one in the background there with the vegetation on the top? Climb to the top, sandboard down, eh? What do you reckon? Awesome. There's this bump. I'm gonna try and go on. Okay. Like I'm gonna try. Are you gonna Are you gonna film me when I'm coming down? Mm, maybe. Yes. I'll film you guys if you film me. I will. Try not make me fall over though. <laughs> Awesome! Oh, you want to run it back up for Jacqueline? I didn't stack it! Woo! That's a win! What's this lazy mama doing? Ah, still reading your book. Got this nice shade, Sal, and you're sitting in the sun, your wally. night here at the caravan park guys no. where are we going tomorrow cape Levique. packing up in the morning and going to cape Levique, 250 k's north is that right something like that we're going on the camel rides when are we leaving three o'clock 
about three o'clock. Camel rides on Cable Beach. In the afternoon camel rides, no sunset. Not watching the sunset. We watched that last night. Might get a 20 minute rest, I think. We're, go we're also going to the night markets. Oh yeah, got night markets. And they got food vans and food trucks and stuff there. Mama, That's what we're going to have. For dinner. Go Something like the food some truck. Sunscreen. Come on guys. We've got camels to get on. Come on. Get yourself all sorted. Let's go. Camels. So we just did the camels. Come here guys. We're back at Matzo's again. Because we've got to buy one and get one free. And so we, why not? So That's what I say. Why not? Tastes even better after riding camels. And, and a freebie, yeah. Yep. Miranda's in her element, night markets, food vans. Not a bad view for a food truck dinner, is it? Far out. Beautiful. How's your hot dogs, guys? Just down here at Town Beach in Broome after a lovely little food truck dinner. Just gonna go and check out these mangroves here before it gets too dark. See what that's all about. Yes, look at the. I mean, they're not roots. I don't. I can't remember. They're like little snorkels. It's like how they get their carbon dioxide, I guess, out of the atmosphere. I think. Could be wrong. It's cool though. Pretty boggy up in through here. I'm not gonna be able to walk too far before I get stuck. <laughs> Thongs seem to be grabbing on the sand quite a bit. Whoop, sinking in. I'm sinking in. <laughs> oh, this is cool, man. <laughs> 